Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday, so I guess I'm here to do a Friday read. So it's um, a bit of a disappointing story. I don't actually have terribly much to say. <laughs> so this shouldn't take long. I finished Rainbow Rowell's Carry On during the week. I had really mixed feelings about it and um, I wrote a bit about what I was thinking over on the Goodreads discussion page. Um, there's a discussion page because I was reading it as part of the Booktube SFF Awards um, read-alongs. I don't really feel like I want to repeat what I said over there here because I don't enjoy being a party pooper and and um, yeah, it, but beyond what I said there, I've not read fan fiction. It's not been a thing that I have done and this isn't quite fan fiction. It's clearly a just slightly translated version of um, Hogwarts fan fiction, Harry Potter fan fiction, but the characters are renamed. I actually found that um, also a bit of a struggle in the book, um, working out how to separate my feelings about the characters that were the stand-ins for the Harry Potter characters um, and like, for example, D the Dumbledore character in um, Carry On is not a hero character at all. And how do you um, cross-pollinate what you're feeling about um, the, the standing character in the book with what you've already have in your head about Dumbledore? And, yeah, that was, that was an interesting... It was an interesting experience. Um, I didn't super love the book. There were lots of good things about it, but I didn't super love it, and I'm not going to say any more. Since then, I've been reading very, very slowly <laughs> A Brief History of Seven Killings. I think that's what it's called. I said the name wrong when I talked about it last time, but anyway, I'll put the... I'll put the cover there so you can see what it's called. This one, uh, last year's Man Book Prize. Um, I've been on the waiting list at my library to get this for months. So it was very disappointing when I started reading it and um, I'm really struggling. I am going to persist a little bit longer at any rate. I'm about a quarter of the way through. Um, I'll try and give it to halfway before I make any rash decisions. But yeah, it's it's a slow and it's a hard work at the moment. It's, it uh, There doesn't seem to be a lot of plot in what I've read so far. It's just lots of different people talking and set up, I guess. But yeah, um, I don't want to talk about that anymore either. <laughs> I'm not really sure... What I'm going to read over the weekend, I'll clearly read a bit more of the Marlon Jones. I don't know if I'm going to pick something else up as well. Um, everybody should go over and check out the Goodreads group. Nicole's put up a quiz for a, a fan vote on best cover art. Uh, and um, there's some interesting suggestions over there. So if you haven't voted yet in the best cover art category, um, quiz for this week you should go over and do that that the only other thing I'm going to talk about is that I actually went to the movies this week which is something I do maybe twice a year so it's slightly memorable and I really enjoyed the film which is you know a pleasant change from the books that I've been talking about so I saw Hail Caesar the new Coen Brothers movie I um, haven't loved every single movie that they've made but I do tend to enjoy their comedies and um I know this has got kind of lukewarm reception, but I laughed almost the entire way through. And there is a bit towards the beginning where we've got, you know, a Catholic priest, a Protestant pastor, a, an Eastern Orthodox priest and a rabbi in a room discussing um, the depiction of Christ in a movie that's being made. And it was just pants-wettingly funny. So um, that was something fun that happened to me this week. I'd love to hear about something truly amazing and wonderful and fun that you're reading. Please write down below and tell me something fun that I could read. I would love to hear that. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.